Yes. Glorious. No, I won't give in. I won't give in till I'm victorious. Hello, everyone. This is CJ Novo992, and today we are back with another brand new video. Today's video is finally, finally here, and it's a video we've been waiting and hoping and praying for that we get today now for just far, far too long. The journey to get us back to where we belong is over, ladies and gentlemen, because it's my absolute pleasure, my absolute joy to be able to sit here and say to you, for the 55th time, Rangers are your league champions. And I can't tell you people how good that is for the ticker to be able to sit here and say to you that 55 has been delivered and we are back to where we belong. I'm going to say it louder, just in case the people in the back can't hear us. Glasgow Rangers champions once again. 55 titles and still going strong. And honestly, my head is absolutely pickled. I don't even know if this video is going to make any sense or no. But one thing I am sure about is every person watching today's video feels exactly what I'm feeling in here. And that's just a joy that can never, ever be described and for that I just need to say thank you to everyone associated with this wonderful, beautiful, staunch football club and looking at these players what they've gave us this season it truly has been, it has been sorry, a remarkable season in every aspect of the world just look at what they have given back to us, back to the fans the title people and that for me makes them absolute legends and I know legends gets flung around and everything like that the terms watered down right to the ground but given everything that was going in to this season the pressure that was on these players to perform at a level and go ahead and do what they've done learn to grow and mature as players carrying the weight of getting us back to where we belong over the last couple of years but to finally get it in their place where they can go out there and play so consistently and deliver it for that that for me they're immortalized at this football club forever and i can never ever say thank you enough to every single person involved with the club and listen i'll just be brutally honest with you because i'm not ashamed to admit it yesterday i get my eyes out after the full-time whistle with the rangers and Simon because it was such an emotional release because of everything we have been through and to go out there and see the Rangers team way pretty much moving themselves to 99.9% .9 getting there and seeing a champions performance like that with everyone playing up to the standard of the Rangers badge which was all we have wanted for all these years. It was an emotional day for me and you may be able to tell throughout the video there's a lot of cuts, there's a lot of red eyes, there's a lot of red faces because there was emotional releases but the day it takes us into this one and it just felt slightly different because we weren't uh, involved in the game and that takes the aspect away from our confidence in the team not that we were relying on other people to win as a title we would have won it on our own next week anyway I have absolutely no doubt about that or the next the game no doubts about that we weren't reliant on anyone but again we were that far in front we blew the competition that far out the water that all these dads and all these folk that sat there and said haha can you see the rangers coming mocking and laughing at us ironically had all that power flipped on them because they still can't see us and do you know why they can't see us because we blew right past them and left them in the dust. And I can't tell you just how glorious that is to say and it's the truth and there's not one person out there in their heart of hearts that can disagree with what I just said. There's been nobody anywhere near us all season long. You look at it, it is the 7th of March people and there's a 20 point differential with only 6 games to go. That says it all and that's all that should be said. Yet despite that and the levels that we performed at this season, there's still people that are clinging on to excuses and trying to make excuses to why 55 has been delivered this season and not another celebration that apparently was coming and they've been singing about for seven years. They want to make excuses and say, oh it's because this guy was not sacked at this point or these two fantastic world beater players didn't they start to this point if they started at the start of the season it would have been different. Oh, all that is bollocks. One, by the way, the two players that's meant to be world beaters over there have been playing now for the last couple of months. Has the results improved? 
Not for me, people. Not for me. And two, even at their best, they couldn't come close to what we've been doing this season. And I truly, truly mean that because you look at what we have done this season, right? Win after win after win after win after win at home. The home form has been absolutely ridiculous. Ibrox well and truly is the fortress Gerard all promised us in his first day of the job. But it goes beyond that. It goes into every single game. And I know there was pundits trying to say Rangers are riding the luck in this game or this game. But that is loser part. That is loser denial. What we've done is perform and play like champions from the first whistle to the last. And that's why we're here. And that's why we're lifting 55. And you sit there and you go through every single list or every single objective that you need to tick off to go ahead and become champions. Rangers are leading and there's nobody in second. You look at it for goals scored. We've scored 77 goals in a 32 game season so far. That in itself is quite mad, especially with the six games left to go. No, that we can just go out there and do whatever the hell we want. But also, it's not just the fact that we've had a good attack, we've been able to score goals. It's this incredible record-breaking defence and again it isn't just the defence that's been unbelievable it's been the hard work and the effort and the commitment and the lack of ego that's in this Rangers team the work rate that's in here just goes to this because we've only conceded nine goals all season long in the Premiership this year that that's madness in itself and that's number one again in another category do you know another category that we're number one in as well by the way and this for me rubbishes anyone that tries to pick Coles and say oh he's a weak link he's a bottle merchant he's no good enough do you know one of the biggest stats and most telling start of just the difference in this Rangers team now is do you know the old category for errors leading to goals or mistakes leading to goals and even some people still try and pick out a guy and say oh he's got mistakes in him that's pish, ladies and gentlemen, because Rangers sit first in that as well. Because do you know how many errors or mistakes our players have made in this season with the amount of pressure that was on their backs all season long? Zero. They've not made one error that's led to a goal. All that people can't ever be taken for granted and it really shows you what a special, special team this is, what a special job the management and the coaching staff and everyone associated with our football club has put in place to be able to go and play to this standard in this level. Honestly, I cannot get my, my, my head around it because not only have we broken records defensively, but we've spoken here many times on the channel, we're also leading that category as well just in case you didn't know, with 24 clean sheets and 32 games. Madness in itself. But we also went ahead and broke an SBFL record in the St Mirren game that I don't even think I talked about because we'll break that many records this season. I never even mentioned we've now broken the SBFL record for keeping clean sheets. There's still six games to go to add to that, by the way. Again, the stock of this Rangers team and deserves even more respect. But just in case all that isn't enough to really paint the picture of just how special this Rangers team is. If you need another ammunition in the old chamber for how good this Rangers team is, well, they've went ahead and broke another record as of today in the 95th minute when the game finished 0-0 between Celtic and Dundee United because the record that went ahead and broken now has been the quickest ever to win a league title in a 38-game season, beating the previous record from 2014 under Neil Lennon by nearly 20 days. That there should slap down anyone that tries to pick holes or make excuses to why this season's happened. And you look through the team now and you look through the ages of some of your players and the development and where they can still go and play and take their, take their game sorry, to the next level. Steven Gerrard said it yesterday after the game. He sat up there and he watched us play and his first initial reaction when the full-time whistle went was he wants more and that shows you what we've got in the building with the right mindset that we need to take our game again to the next level. We'll not get lax or start getting our feet up and thinking we're absolutely bright. He wants more and he talked about the players and if they're well, they'll be able to accomplish a lot more and it'll be a very exciting time at this football club. And for me, that's not just pish that's getting spouted or anything like that. I believe every single bit of that because if you go back and you look at what Gerard's promised us so far, he's delivered on everything. So why would it change now? I'm so I'm so damn emotional, I'm so damn hyped up, and I'm so damn proud 
of this team. And I just want to give a special mention to Tavernier, right? And this isn't me just pointing anybody out or anything. You know I absolutely love every one of these players and every one of them deserves what they've achieved this season. But I want to talk about the skip because he is the only one that's still here from the championship days. And the fact that he's been able to grow as a player and get better, take his bumps, take his questions, make his mistakes because, hey, we're human. We all make mistakes. But the fact that he's just kept back at it and back at it and back at it, back at it and became the leader that we needed in this football club to get us back to where we belong, that, for me, puts him up there in this football club's history because that is a true legend from where he was to where he is now Tavernier an absolute legend sir but just in case all this hasn't given away or if you haven't heard already why we are champions right now after Dundee United and Celtic drew 0-0 earlier today is because it's now mathematically impossible for them to get anywhere near us which is just absolutely hilarious given all the shit that was talked about coming in to this season and getting this and this and this the fact that they've been battered away by a record pace and a record set in Rangers team is absolutely glorious special shout out by the way because I did watch the game of football and it was a tough watch because there was no much quality on display there at all but there was one shining bit of quality and that was for the Dundee United goalkeeper who by the way you're getting a staunch fruit basket, son. And yes, I will be signing you in Football Manager. Thank you. <laughs> but aye, ladies and gentlemen, I don't even know how much else to say. Honestly, my phone's been blown up. I've been speaking to friends. I've been speaking to family. And what I absolutely love and I'll never, ever take for granted is we get to share those moments, right? We get to talk to our friends. We get to talk to our family. We get to experience that. But then I get to sit here and I get to talk to you and I get to do it all again. And that, for me... Is unbelievable because I am genuinely excited to see what you have got to say because this is a community here on the channel and I know I say it all the time but it's never ever for lip service. Hopefully you realise that and you realise that I am meaning every word of this. This isn't about me. This isn't a YouTube channel where I didn't read the comments or I didn't get interact or I didn't do anything. It's me, me, me. It's never ever been about that. Every comment I read and I know you just like you know me and hell we've made our mistakes, we've argued, we've, we've not seen eye to eye but that's what I love right here, ladies, we didn't always need to agree because there's always been that one thing that me and they share and that's the love for this football club and the want to see us back where we be belonging. Ladies and gentlemen, today is the day and I honestly cannot wait to see you down there celebrating and I hope every single one of you are having an absolute glorious day. My smile just hanging is, I, I, I can't even put it in words what I'm feeling right now, maybe it's still no settled down but when we the frowning Clancy put that whistle to his mouth in the 95th minute it was just over for me, I lost the next two hours but I've done some things ladies and gentlemen and that's just the raw emotion and only loving a football club as much as we they can bring that out of you so I hope every single one of you are bouncing, having fun and loving life because what this team and the management and the, the people that's involved in this football club has given back to us is the right to feel that way and ladies and gentlemen it's not going to stop anytime soon there's still plenty to play for this season I mean, and I know we talked about the journey to 55k and everything like that I've seen a couple of people saying oh I'm sorry you didn't get it or anything like that in time for 55 do not worry about that at all I am more than grateful for everyone who's subbed to this channel I never ever need to get 55k and if, like, if it stops there it's completely fine with me ladies and gentlemen but what I will say is the journey that we've been on me and you getting the mud falling at us being memed getting laughed at getting mocked everything like that over these many years we've been doing this now we're back to the mountaintop we only finished there ladies and gentlemen there's plenty still to play for not only this season but building forward with this very very exciting special Rangers team because there's still another two trophies to play for and I'm pretty damn sure I'll be there and I'm pretty damn sure you'll be there right here on the channel channel to follow us everywhere and anywhere but I the main turning point for today's video and the reason why I'm sitting here and the reason that I'm losing my voice is we are back to where we belong 55 titles still going strong but before I wrap up today's video. There is one thing that I promised the long-term viewers of this channel, the OGs of this channel, and you may or may not know where I'm going with this, but just in case you don't, go ahead and grab your refreshments. Grab what's ever in front of you because we need to toast what has just came home to this football club, and that is the 55th title. So go ahead and lift your refreshments, everyone. Three, two, one. Spots a break. Oh my sweet, 55. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and the fact that we can even just have fun with that, that's us reached the end 
of today's video. I'm still in bits. My head's still going a million times. I'm sure there's some stuff that I've forgot and not mentioned, but honestly, all I can tell you right now is I am absolutely on a cloud above nine, ladies and gentlemen. I'm on cloud 55, and I'm sure a lot of you will be there celebrating me very, very soon down there in the comment section below. So I'm going to wrap up today's video because I need to hear what you are seeing, saying, singing, whatever you want to do, do it down there in the comment section below, and I'll be sitting there doing it with you. So to everyone watching today's video, thank you so much for all the support over the years to get us back to here. And now we're here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just keep on going and keep on building what we have together and watching this phenomenal, phenomenal Rangers team that deserve every bit of success they now have and every celebration, which has been fantastic to watch. By the way, they deserve every single second of it because what they've give, gave us, sorry, words will never, ever describe it. To everyone, thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you in the next video and bye.